Okay, so here is the robot mode. Robot mode is the better mode of this figure, really. Uh, even though the car mode, looking at the car mode, the, just not touching it at all, is about a 9, maybe a 8.5. It's really nice to look at, but once you touch it, you realize that the paint's going to rub off and all this garbage. By the way, I'm going to start doing what I'm going to call a wear and tear rating, uh, starting with this review. This is where I quickly go over wear and tear issues you may come across while playing with or transforming your transformers. Um, I've already covered that in this video so far, which is the, the translucent plastic being painted. The paint doesn't hold very well, like I said before. Uh, so, uh, wear and tear, he's about a six, um, because half of him in car mode is translucent material that's painted, so he's about a six. Uh, plus, you could rub off some more of this material black, just, just getting frustrated with this part, so, um, I did that right, right here. Uh, so, you know, wear and tear, he's about a six. Uh, other than that, there's real, really no other wear and tear issues. So, he's very, he's very G1-ish, the head sculpt, and kind of a look to him, really. For a size comparison. There you go. Articulation. You have to be really careful with the arms because the wheels will rub up against the doors and sc scratch off the paint. That's easily one of the bi biggest wear and tear problems is the doors scratching off the paint. I mean, the, the wheels scratching off the paint on the doors. Um, but he has great articulation. I mean, you, you, you don't really need to see the articulation. He's, He's, he's got really good articulation. The only real articulation that he doesn't have is his head only moves side to side. He can't look up or down. So that's the only articulation he doesn't have in my opinion. But other than that, he has really good articulation. Uh, I would say... I'd say overall he's a he's a pretty good figure. I forgot to show you his um, acid shooters, but they come up out of the back. And he has acid shooters. There's no real detail to them; they're just white, which is okay, really. I mean, I'm not complaining. So he's a nice little figure. Um, you know, I don't like I don't like displaying him with the ashen shears. I, I think it looks better the other way. So he's a great figure. I mean, if, if you like Prowl, if you're a fan of Prowl, uh, even if you're just a recent fan of Prowl like I am, um, you need to get him. Get two. I, I, I'd suggest getting two. Uh, one to maybe open and never really touch um, or just leave in the package uh, and another one to actually play with and transform or whatever whatever you do um, if you're not a Prowl fan get Sunstreaker instead please um, in my opinion you get more for your money and you get more quality for your money whereas here you gotta deal with you gotta deal with paint rubbing off on the panels which is a is annoying but if you can spare if you can spare the ten dollars to get him buy him anyways so that is my review his robot mode is, uh, is a 9 maybe an 8.5 8.5 or a 9 depends on if you're a prowl fan or if you're not um, his packaging was a was a 9 uh, his wear and tear was a six. Um, car mode was a 
think his karma level is a 6. So, he's about a... He's about an 8.5 or an 8. I'd say he's about an 8 overall. So, you know, he's not he's not that bad. He's, he's a pretty decent figure. So, get him if you can. So, that's my review. And I hope you found it helpful. Later.